What's up guys, you're watching the Samsung Galaxy S20 5G disassembly. Go ahead and pop out your SIM tray. Next, go ahead and use a hair dryer or a blow dryer to heat up the back of the phone so you can loosen up the adhesive and make it easier to pry the back off. Then go ahead and use a plastic pry tool to work your way around the back of the phone and gently pry the back off. So here's your back plate. You now have 15 Phillips screws you need to remove. Go ahead and remove those screws. Now we're gonna remove the wireless charging pad or coil. So these contacts over here on the main board make a connection with the flex cable over here for the wireless charging pad. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the battery cable. And then we're gonna remove this top cover that's covering the board. On the back of this cover, you have a flex cable over here that has contacts on there, which make a contact with the earpiece speaker over here and the board giving it signal. Let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. Let's disconnect the power button cable right over here. Now disconnect the front facing camera cable. Now this seems to be something new Samsung is doing. They did this on the Galaxy Z Flip as well. Basically the front facing camera is glued down or held in place very firmly. So it's pretty hard to take it off. So if you want to remove the front facing camera, you're most likely going to damage it or break it off. Let's go ahead and disconnect this cable as well. Now you have one Phillips screw holding down the main board. Remove that screw. Now your main board will be free so you'll be able to remove it by lifting it up. Removing the board reveals a 3D copper vapor chamber located right here. There's also a type of white film or tape located here. Now I'm not sure if this is a type of thermal tape or anything that transfers heat, but I do know when you lift this one up, there's a type of copper plate or a vapor chamber running underneath it. I can't tell too much honestly right now because you'd have to basically pry the screen off from the front to gain access to that. Now let's go ahead and remove the speaker assembly. Here's a closer look at the speaker assembly right here. Let's go ahead and disconnect these cables. So this cable is gonna be the main cable that leads from your main board to your charger port board down here. And one more cable right here. And this cable right here is gonna be your display cable. You have three Phillips screws holding down your charger port board. Go ahead and remove those screws. Now you can lift up and remove your charger port board. Here's a closer look at that. And I attempted to pry the battery off. There aren't any easy pull tabs and the adhesive seems to be adhered to the back part of the screen. So when I'm trying to pry the battery off, it seems to be pulling the screen in with it a little bit. So I don't really want to damage the screen. So now you're left with the battery, the mid frame, you got the earpiece, your front facing camera, your vibrator motor located down here, and your volume power keys over here. If you wanted to remove those, here's a flex cable for that. There's a metal bracket over here. You'd have to pop up, slide out of the frame, and then you'll be able to remove the power button and volume key along with the flex cable. And to replace the screen, you just have to heat the screen up from the front and then you'd have to pry it off at this point 
from the midframe, then apply your new screen. Make sure you run your cable through the midframe over here and just reverse the process. Now it's time to put it back together. Once you got all your screws back in place, apply new adhesive, put your back cover back on. Flip your phone over, power it on. And you're done. Thanks again for watching guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.